Breaking a thousand miles per hour is a massive task in itself, but it's made even more difficult by having to achieve it in a limited amount of space. The hackskin pan has a very flat surface, but it's bounded by rocks. The space between the rocks is 12 miles long, and in the centre is our measured mile. This leaves us five and a half miles either side to accelerate to a thousand miles per hour and to slow down again. It's critical that Andy reaches the start of the mile at exactly the right speed. If he fires the rocket too early, it will burn out and he'll be slowing down through the measured mile. If he fires too late, he'll still be accelerating through it and may overshoot the track. For Andy to reach a thousand miles per hour in just 51 seconds, he'll have to time the rocket firing perfectly. Here's what a graph of an ideal run would look like. The jet spools up and the seven ton car starts rolling. 12 seconds later and the jet comes onto reheat. With the huge boost in power, the speed rapidly increases. 20 seconds in and we pass 200 miles per hour. Just after 30 seconds in and at 350 miles per hour, the rocket is fired. Again, the car lurches forward, subjecting Andy to a force of 2G. The additional air being forced into the jet enables it to create still more thrust. In just a few seconds, we pass through the speed record set by Campbell, Breedlove, Gavalich and Noble, as well as the sound barrier and Andy's own record. But hand enters the start of the measured mile at 1,000 miles per hour. It reaches 1,050 miles per hour before the rocket burns out and the car stops accelerating. Having successfully passed through the mile, you'd think the difficult part was over, but it's actually just beginning. The air brakes are deployed. He's now losing 65 miles per hour every second. The parachutes can be released at 500 miles per hour. It helps to slow him still further, but the remaining desert is disappearing very quickly. Andy's foot hovers over the pedal for the disc brakes, but he can't use them until he's below 200 miles per hour or they would shatter. At last the wheel brakes can be used to bring the car to a standstill. The support crew will have less than an hour to ready the car for its return run, back towards the rocks at the other end. <laughs>